5 add-ons to greatly increase your farming experience. Hi there, I'm Golden Routes, and today we're going to take a look at 5 add-ons that will give you a better experience farming. These add-ons are GatherMate 2, Farm it to Routes Routes import slash export and TSM. First off, we'll take a look at Gather Me 2. So, Gather Me 2 as you can see on my screen, will allow you to pick up nodes on your mini map. So it will show you pre existing nodes and it'll just show you where they're supposed to be if there are any up. Keep in mind that this is all data based, and if there isn't data for it, then it won't be in the system. So you'll probably want to get a pre-existing add-on called GatherMate to Data. This will allow you to import and export data into the system. So that way you can gather your own data and share it with other people or other people can share their own data and you can basically get the data that they have collected themselves. So. I'd highly recommend GatherMate 2, at least you don't need GatherMate data, or GatherMate 2 data, but you do need at least GatherMate 2. The big reason why this helps farming is because it allows you to trace out where you are wanting to farm very easily. And as you can see on the map, I have a route. This is due to the add-on routes, which we'll talk about next. I know I didn't do these in order, but that's the fun of this. Um, so, routes is a really, really good add-on to increase your farming experience because you can draw lines on the mini-map and they stay. And you can follow those lines and pick up anything along the way, or you can kill things along the way, or you can scan things on the way, or you know what I mean? You can just follow this line that you created on your map, and you can do all sorts of things with it. You can even find treasures with it. Um, so, Rots is really, really good. You may be wondering, well, if Rots is so good, how can I get your routes? Well, 
the easiest way to do that is through routes import slash export, which is another add-on that you'll need in order to import routes, such as my own or other people's, or like other content creators and such. Routes import slash export is such a great add-on because it allows for users to import other routes such as my own. And it's just, it's a really nice way to share routes compared to the old way where you had to copy and paste an LUA file and you just, it was really messy that way. So I'd highly recommend routes and routes import slash export as well. Those two add-ons go together very nicely. And then you got Farmit. Farmit is a really good add-on as well. Um, it makes farming a little bit better in my opinion or a little bit funner not necessarily better but funner because you don't have to continuously open up your bags and I know I could get an add-on called I think bag on or something like that and it's an okay add-on I wouldn't necessarily say it's a great one but it's a decent one uh, which this add-on or the bag on add-on well just condense all your bag space into one great big tab um, which I tried it for a little bit and it just wasn't for me so I went to farm it to farm it to allows you to see and trace all of your findings you can even do gear or stuff like that as well if you're farming for like jig leg plates you can put the jig leg plates on your farm it bar and if you pick up a second jade leg plates, then you will, it will count for two jade leg plates. So, unfortunately, the add-on doesn't count, like, say you want to farm a specific type of um, transmog, such as jade, you can't just put a jade piece in there and it count all your jade pieces that you pick up it won't do that but it will count all of your uh, materials that you put into the add-on so to put an item into the add-on all you do is you drag and drop the item like you're getting ready to delete it only you don't delete it you just drop it into the box and there you have farm it and then last but not least, you got TSM. TSM is a really good add-on as well as almost every user uses it because it's basically like a much better auction house system than what Blizzard uses. Um, it's a little complicated for me, I will admit. The biggest thing I use it for is for prices. You know, I like being able to see the price of my materials and stuff I'm farming while I'm farming them. This helps me determine whether or not it is worth it to continuously farm them or if I should find something else to farm. All of these add-ons put together are really good because it just makes farming a lot better experience for anybody so you can be a new player not knowing anything about farming you can use these add-ons and it will help you tremendously because if you go with mining, herbing, or skinning at the start, at least mining and herbing, you'll want to know where to even look, right? You know, you don't want to be running down the middle of Vuldoon and not finding anything because there aren't any nodes that spawn in the middle of Vuldoon. There are, but not necessarily a whole lot, you know? So, Gathermate 2 will allow you to see all of the nodes, even on your Bing map. And, basically, yeah. It's just really nice that way. And then you got Farm It, which allows you to see how many of which materials you picked up. So if you're wanting to farm for a thousand of ten ore, you don't have to continuously look in your bags, you know. You can just be like, okay, how much ten ore do I have now? Oh, it's over here on my 
Farm it bar. Oh, okay, I have this many. Um, so there's that. And then routes and routes import slash export is really, really good too. Because again, you can follow a line that literally tells you where to pick up these materials, which correlating with GatherMate 2, you can see all of the nodes that are supposed to be spawning in that pathway. And you can just kind of collect patterns along the way and be like, okay, so there's this many nodes to this pattern. So I know that there is going to be a node up around this general vi vicinity. You know what I mean? So like, for example, I knew, or I knew that there's going to be an herb that spawned around this mountain somewhere just because I have farmed this area for so long that I just learned to pick up where the herbs start to spawn. Now that's a little bit more advanced. I will admit that's like advanced farming, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Anyways, and then you combine all of those add-ons with TSM and you've got a really, really good add-on set up for farming. Alright guys, got to make this 10 minutes. Um, I did script this a little bit. Again, please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my editing and the new scripting. Um, I've caught myself saying um a lot less, which I am really thankful for. I know I said it quite a bit throughout this video, but literally all the script consists of is the opening and the add-ons that I was talking about. So. We're going to be working on saying, um, we're not going to be saying that as much. So, hopefully that helps. I've been saying so a lot more instead of saying, um, so that'll have to stop too. Um, but, yeah, I think things are going pretty smoothly and all of that. We'll probably catch up on a vlog probably today and just catch everything up on what I plan on doing with the channel and all of that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.